Hello everyone, it is me, the man, here with another Harper Man Health Splendor. Today I am giving you the most important tutorial I have ever made, which is how to export in PBR. <sighs> yes, that is right. And I I was originally filming this at like, what, 9 p.m. tonight? And then I got through some of it, but then something wasn't working and then i rage deleted my files before the person i asked for help told me that something else was supposed to do the thing that it was supposed to do and i got rid of the footage of my first attempt doing the tutorial so now i'm reshooting the damn thing isn't that fun and the person I know, they'll know. They'll probably talk about it in the comment sections after they're done hearing me ramble about this. Which is right now, because I am gonna tell you how to export trains PBR, so let's just get into it. Now, first, what you're gonna need, obviously, Blender trains. Uh, preferably in not on SP5 or SP4 or SP3. And, uh, then the, the, the third program you're gonna need is actually a program called Materialize, which I'll link in the description, uh, for you to download, so then you can do the epic PBR like me. Now, the first section of our tutorial is gonna be just, you know, setting up, like, I don't know, fucking cube, uh, cube triangle thing control J you know and we're just going about the bouts and the roundabouts doing the normal thing I taught you in other tutorials and then you know we uh, grab like a red and then you know we're, we're just, it's it's just so far very normal shit. This is like for people who's watched all the other tutorials and know what they're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you should probably watch a bunch of other tutorials and get back to me later. Alright, so now that we have all that to get back to me, now this should be like, I don't know, let's, let's make it a new color, uh, green, and uh, assign it then, alright. UV rabbit again. Then we go over here, you know, like like we're just going about at first just, you know making um, a fucking model. Like you normally do with non PBR models. Alright, and then we bake it. It should all be baked. It is. And now we're going to save the image. Now here's where shit starts to get crazy because we're gonna get rid of the texture there because we're, we're just not supposed to do that according to a person. And uh, now we're gonna awkwardly transition to materialize, I apologize that this recording program cannot easily more transition over to the next program. Come on. You can't be fucking serious with this thing, come on. I seriously can't... Oh, there we go. I'm just on. I'm, I'm just tripping balls. Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna have to read the screen size and shit. You know, like that's a recording program thing. You don't have to do that unless you're doing a tutorial. But anyway, what you do need is materialize. And the first thing you do is switch to TGA. And we open the AL map first. 
Uh, ignore literally everything I have, please. I am in no mood. Uh, then we go here, then we go here, then we go here, then we go here, and then we grab box TGA, and then we go normal box TGA, and then height box TGA, and then we create uh, the height or parameter map first, and then we take the slider up to full, and then the contrast thing here determines like how your deepness of PBR works, you know? So like this will look like it has anorexia, this will look like it has diabetes. Uh, we want it to be in a sort of middle area, so somewhere around there, and then set as that. Then we create the normal lamp, which you can't do much editing to, so we just set it as that. Now we do not create and send an AO map, because it will do this, and it will look like this, and that's dumb. So do not create and set the AO map. now. We're going to save. Uh, box parameter instead of height because that's just how you do. Then box normal. Then box beta. And now, to awkwardly transition back to, um, uh, fucking Blender. Yeah, that's it. Hold on. Actually, before I do, I need, I need to check something real quick. It's recording now? Alright. Now to awkwardly transition back to Blender. Yeah. Okay, so just do a bit of that, and... Now we're going to go over to the material, uh, go into solid mode, get rid of all these, and then create a new material, and then call it box.m.pbrmetal. And then the first thing we're going to add is box albedo, and pay very close attention to this order, because you need to put it in this order and do every, like, like just do it exactly as I'm doing. You know, it's very important that you do it in this way, otherwise you will have pee pee poo poo times, and then, yeah. Alright, so, with this one, you uncheck use alpha, I think. And then this one, you check use alpha, and then you uncheck color, and then you check normal. Then you go <laughs> to the third one, and then it's parameter, and then you uncheck color, and check hardness. And thus the PBR has been set up. Now, how do we check to make sure the PBR is set up? Well, it's very simple there, Jimmy. We just uh, grab some lighting. You know, like so. Alright, and then we'll go into material mode to see our PBR. And as we can see here, it's working. Now you may be wondering, why is my PBR scuffed? And with material lines, the PBR only goes in one specific direction. And the PBR is just always going to end up looking scuffed unless you can figure something out in material lines. So this is just what you got to deal with. I mean, it's a form of PBR if you can't somehow get Substance Painter then get materialized for your train's PBR desires, but uh, warning, it's, it's scuffed. It's fucking scuffed. Okay, so we'll just move our light, uh, lights over to a different layer. And uh, now to export FBX, the cube, uh, and then there's a specific preset thing here. Uh, I'll probably make a subsequent tutorial on how the fuck to do this if I can get a friend to tell me how the fuck to do this or something Because I don't remember how the fuck I did this But I mean if you take a look at it and then try to set it up to that Then I think it should work out for you Maybe uh, Then we do that and then export FBX And it has exported now I'm going to 
take a quick second here to clone a PBR asset and train. Perfect. And then get rid of everything here. And now, <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry about that. And then what we're gonna do is transition over to the folder with this shit. If I can fucking find it. Please, please don't be a bitch to me. No, that's the folder for the regular cube. Come on. There we go. And then we need to adjust the screen. Isn't that fun? You don't have to worry about all this adjusting the screen thing. This is just me dealing with the, the incompetency of a recording program. Now, as you can see in this PBR asset, I deleted everything except for the config and LM text. And now I'm going to open the config. Let's see if it'll actually want to record it this time. Play nice. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Alright, gotta switch to display capture. I don't like this capture, but whatever. Yeah, just don't mind anything I'm doing, okay? Alright, now, as you can see here, we got shit, you know? And we're gonna change this to, uh, like, Superman 6 cube time. Yeah, yeah, that. <coughs> and, um,. And you see here how it says main.ln. We're gonna change this to um, box trains mesh, I think. Then save. And then what I'm doing right now is taking my fbx file and my tgas and putting them in the folder i just showed you with the config and the lm text and then i think it's it's been a while since i've done this so if i fuck up i'm sorry okay turn this off on. And then we see our new asset, and then we're gonna submit edits. Oh wait, you didn't see that. Oh dear. Well, I installed Powerful Man, uh, Sexy Cube, Sexy Cube Time. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be in display capture. I don't like being in this capture, but whatever. Okay, that's just a thing. All right, view errors and warnings. Uh, two errors I don't even know about. The mesh in LOD level two and one. All right, hold on. even do like two things I needed it to do because if it didn't I'm gonna be pissed okay then show and explore oh good 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 yeah yeah this will create the texture files that you will need mm, and then I think I can change it to something. Hold on, let me look. Mm. All right, so if I full screen this, 
Alright, and then, um... Then, I'ma try and be cool. Um... Hold on. I'm trying to be cool. Come on, let me be cool. Alright. So, I'm gonna try and do something here. If I fail, I am cutting this out. Um... So I'm renaming it to box.trainmesh because I'm cool. And uh, then we're going to do that and exit out. And then rename this to fucking uh, box.lm.text. Which means that if I rename this to box.lm and get rid of this thing to deal with those errors we just had. And assuming I did all my calculometric correctly, please, pretty please, come on, son of a bitch. All right, so all we have to do in go into here and then insert the category but not insert the number I think so mesh table slide transition distances I think that's what you do and then submit edit come on pretty please Shit, it might actually work. Alright, and then we go into preview asset and pray it doesn't crash our game. And there you go. The PBR, it's scuffed, yes, but you exported a PBR thing in the trains and an object. Hooray! Yeah, alright. So, I'm going to try and use my model here that I used in the Your Very First Trains model tutorial line. Because I can't be bothered to make a whole new fucking mo locomotive right now. Alright. So, first things first. Let me, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll get everything at least set up and then get back to you. Right. Okay. <coughs> As you see here, I got the engine all readied up. Sure, it's not the, the best of, of liveries, but uh, it'll have to do. Now, the first thing we're actually going to do before we do anything else, this thing will fucking listen, my cursor center, is remind you that we are we need to export our locomotives and bogies and anything like any attachment point period if you're doing pbr you need plane accesses this is what a plane axis looks like if you're doing only pbr things get used to it all right so we're just you know this zero and then we add the plane axis over here here, we got limb front, and then we add another one, we got limb back, alright, now also quick side tangent, um, for like rigging bogies with these things, with these uh, plane axes, to my knowledge, there is literally no difference between rigging with a plane axis and rigging with a lattice. So, whatever rigging knowledge you have, it won't be completely useless. So, yeah, just, just wanted to remind you. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> now, what we're actually going to do right now is control J some stuff together. This is just the thing that people in the PBR dealio do, I guess. 
I don't know why they do it, they just do it. Okay. You know, we're just going through baking a model like normal, except we're carrying the lessons of our PBRness from the cube. And then I guess we'll name this one Boiler and Cab. And we already have all the baking setups set up, yada yada, then we bake. <sighs> it's really hard to make tutorials this early in the morning. It ain't fun, but it's what I gotta do because every month seemingly is mean. Alright. Alright, then we'll go over here, make a new PBR textures folder. And then make sure to save it as Tarja, otherwise I will never live myself down. Get rid of it here. And then we wait, hold up. I uh, just need to control J this in. And then smart UV wrap this. Uh, buffers and beam. And then we bake this. This is all just part of the PBR thing. I don't know why people do some of these things. It's like why you have to do some of these things. You just do them. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Did I have... Aw, oh, man. I didn't have my things on. Well, I ain't refilming that. Yeah, but like... In order to get other objects together, you just like control J them together. So like you would hold on, like let me let me let me just uh, do a quick screencast demonstration here. Okay, so like if you were to like control J two objects, it's like this object and then this object and then you would control J them together. But we're not actually doing that for these two objects. Okay, hopefully that didn't fuck anything up. No, it didn't. Now, control J objects together and then baking them, it may look a bit scuffed, but honestly, I don't have any way you can fix that right now. You just kind of have to hope for the best, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I apologize to anyone who gets cranky about some scuffed PBR. I'm not sure how to fix it. Or no, not scuffed PBR. Scuffed, scuffed baking. I apologize to anyone who has a problem with the scuffed baking. When you control J objects together, that's just how it is. And I don't know how to fix it myself. But if anyone has any su any suggestions or any ways to fix it in the comments below, please, for the love of God, say it. Alright, then, uh, lower region. Because I'm funny. Then we'll bake it. Hold on, wait, which view am I? Which view am I in? Okay, I'm in learn and display mode. Yeah, we're, ju we're just going about making a, this thing. I should probably put in a time skip. Yeah, I'm probably going to put in a time skip. Actually, no, that'd be a bad idea. Fuck it, no time skip. Okay, now we have the lower region. So then we save. And then we do the same thing we did last time. Okay, my apologies. I, I had to do a time skip. Uh, because I am so fucking bad at making tutorials. Because I just showed everyone, like, okay, listen, listen. Like, it's, it's just the same thing as we did, like, for the cube textures. Albedo, normal, height, you set your heights, you set your normals, and then you save them like you normally do. So, I apologize. It's basically just the same thing that we did for the cube. Moving on. And making sure I'm on Blender. 
God, I apologize for making such a bad tutorial. I am the worst ever. Now, we just do the same thing like we did for the cube. Uh, Boiler.n.pv are metal. And then, you know, we set the textures as you normally do. So, uh, like albedo, uncheck that. normal, keep it checked, and then uncheck this, check that, you know, it's, it's mostly the same thing as the cube, except, you know, it's slightly different, like, like, like what we're doing right now, yeah, and then set that to hard, and then, you know, like, wait, do we have, like, okay, good, and then we go into material, and as we can see, the PBR is indeed working, which is very good, because we always want the PBR to work, otherwise we'd be really pissed off right now. Yeah. Mm. Then we get, like, how the fuck did that happen? Okay. Uh, beam.m.pbr metal. Oh, wait, I forgot to do lower region. Okay. I am a mess tonight, and I cannot apologize enough for making such a shitty tutorial. I'm still gonna upload it anyway. I might redo it in a year. We'll see. Wait, hold on. Okay, good. Yeah. And then hard. Yeah, the metal, it's all coming together. Now, now, I need to go back into here because I suck. And plus, it'll just show you that it's literally all just the same. Uh, all right, so you just clear, clear, clear. And then we just do the same thing you know create set the things <laughs> damn it I am just a sickly old can't do his job right. Isn't that great? Am I right? Right now, we're gonna head back into here. Get rid of this. And then lower.n.pbr metal. And then just add the things. Like we literally did last time. hard on and all the PBR is in place uh, and let's see so then we go into solid and now it's time for the moment you all been waiting for how to export a PBR locomotive so let's go all right so then you put in the PBR asset thing We'll call it beginner, sure. And export. And it should all be good. Fam. Oh, shit. Bit of a trains kerfuffle. I have cloned my Brush Bengal 400 horsepower model, which you can actually get on the shed. Link in the description below. Um, 
Now the thing may look at this this model may look a bit off in the files, but you stick with me, alright? Alright, so we're gonna go to display capture. And hold on, just gotta exit out of these things. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, it has its own little folder thing. But that's just kind of how it is with this model, I guess. So, if you use my model, then that may still be getting an accurate tutorial, hopefully. <clears throat> anyway. Here are all the textures that we gotta eat out of fucking orbit. And... These things too, I guess. Oh wait, actually, unless, wait. Hold on, oh no, did I delete the thing Perma permanently? Man, I am so tripping balls. Wait, does this not have an LM either? How have I been getting by? Oh, thank Christ. There it is. Alright. Yeah, so make sure to dot that LM file at all costs when deleting your shit. Otherwise, you're in for a bad time. Haha, <laughs> Undertale reference. It's funny. Okay. Now, we go into here. And then we grab all of our essential textures and a file then we put them into here then we grab the config and we're gonna rename this to harperman sexy beginner train and i think everything should all be good uh this we'll just get rid of the fucking number because if we have numbers in these damn things shit shit's gonna get crazy okay yeah everything seems perfectly reasonable king arthur lm now and then what we do is sort of same as last time uh beginner dot Rings mesh, I think, and then we save. Everything seems normal. It's all coming together. Then we submit the edits, and of course we're gonna get some practical bullshit. But it's trains. What do you expect? Finally, okay, okay. So the problem was like some sort of triangulation bullshit. So what you do here? is to all your objects in your mesh you put in this triangulate thing apply before you export and that'll fix that error we just had to go to world war 3 just to fight now to deal with uh, the fact that it's probably faulty where is it ah sexy big beginner train individual meshes mesh files upgrade to a LM file which is very easy for us to do I think all right so now we're gonna show an explorer ah, it's gonna be a bitch to edit all right we're gonna want config and the real thing we're gonna do here is uh, go into the uh, King Arthur LM text uh, well, maybe not go into it, more so rename it. To, uh, beginner. Alright, and then in config, we rename this to beginner.lm. Save the file. And then submit edits and everything should hopefully be good please for the love of god okay 
indicators and warnings. Ah, point A load. Okay, this this one's on me. All right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All right. Yeah, that was just on my uh, previous model. Just go ahead and get rid of that, and uh, everything will be good. You just got to submit edits. And everything will be perfectly son of a bitch. Train car asset must have at least two bow. Isn't that fun? It already has two bogeys. Ah, this is another bullshit thing. Alright, so we're gonna go back in the blender. Isn't that fun? Then, uh... We have to add a... A dot bog one. Because apparently, trains is a pussy and a bitch at the same time. So, have fun with that, you know? Uh, then we re-export it. Uh, then we, uh, grab our mesh. Yeah, trains is a bitch and a pussy. So, just have fun dealing with that, you know? Luckily, I ain't doing this as much as I used to. Alright, then we put in the new mesh, submit the edits, everything will be good. Yeah, at least I'm teaching you how to deal with errors. You know? Alright. Please. Please, for the love of God. <gasps> and then we go in. And congratulations! You made your first PBR engine. Yes, it's scuffed, but it's a PBR engine, and you can be proud that you can finally do it. Now, as for PBR bogeys, I am saving that for another tutorial because I need to go the fuck to sleep. So expect that within like, I don't know, a couple weeks maybe. Because I have shit to, I need to do. And plus this video is going to take so much energy to fucking edit. I apologize for all of my incompetent mistakes. Trains being a bitch. And just this night being kind of fucking crummy for me. I also apologize for the lack of uploads. And possibly making you depressed at the fact that, uh, I self-deprecate myself a lot. Shut up, don't give me pity. I gotta go now, burn!